the son of of um, Harvey Grant. <laughs> Harvey Grant is the twin brother of Horace Grant. Horace Grant played with Michael Jordan. <laughs> 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 Horace Grant has some comments, some remarks about the documentary. But first, let me get your take. Now, you were you were born in uh, 1994, correct? Rather, that was probably the heyday of your your uncle and your pop's time. Do you remember anything from their playing career? Yeah, I actually remember a lot. Uh, they took me a lot of places. Um, I remember, you know, meeting meeting Jordan, meeting Kobe and Shaq, going to, you know, a lot of my dad's games with my mom and my brothers and things like that. So when you are, go back to the Jordan documentary, what? how did you feel about it, the whole, in its totality? What did you take away from it? I feel like it depends on what you were looking for. Uh, okay. For me, personally, I feel like it was great to be able to see the insight of of Jordan and, and the Bulls era, you know, because not really not really being able to watch it growing up, you know, like I was born in 94, you know, they, they finished what, 98, 99. Yep. Just watching that and, and watching your uncle's remarks after the documentaries aired, did, did it cause you to think differently of Jordan? It didn't really change uh, how I thought about Michael Jordan or how I think about Michael Jordan. You know, he's still, mm-hmm. to me, the greatest player to ever play the game and mm-hmm. one of the, the, the toughest competitors to ever play the game. you see seen how Jordan gets down in practice, how he, his way of motivating players and moving team, getting teams, you know, he goes at them pretty hard. I know there's different ways. I think Kobe was like that in a similar way. Have you played with anybody close to that type of leadership style? For sure, Russ, Russ, Russell Westbrook. R- Russ is I like played that. With Russ and, yeah, he he always lit a fire under me. Um, give me, give me an example. I, yeah. Give me exa- give me an example. Tell me a story or so. He lit a fire under me because you know I was I was you know very timid. You know, confidence was like you know wishy washy. You know, I just got traded and stuff like that. And you know he he had passed me the ball. I wouldn't shoot it. Sometimes I'd be hesitant. You know, he, he always scream at me, shoot the effing ball and stuff like that. So like mm-hmm. you know, for me like. You know, that, I mean, that's why, I mean, that's my brother, you know, it's like me and Russell are extremely close. And I, I think uh, he, he definitely seen potential in me. You know, he, he felt like uh, I could definitely help the team win and things like that. So, I mean, just for him to do stuff like that, I think, uh, man, I love it. You know, I'm I'm, I'm going to go back and, you know, we're going to go back and forth and stuff like that. But like at, at the end of the day, if he's just trying to help me, uh, Russ definitely had that that mentality or has still has that mentality. too. I didn't take it personally because uh, cause it was – I think Jordan was a little different. I think Jordan Jordan was a little bit more aggressive. Like it was uh, from from, from the, watching the documentary, it was a little bit more you know spiteful things. He, you know he would mm-hmm. say here and there, but yeah. Russell was more con- uh, constructive criticism. You know it was like a just is like you know a tough love type. You know mm-hmm. uh, if he really if he really felt like you had the potential, you know he was going to push you in, in 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 his way. So like I didn't I never really took to it in the wrong way. I feel like, you know, I needed that, you know, to, to, to move forward. And I think uh, it definitely helped me. And I, and I guess that shouldn't be surprising to me. He is Jordan Brand. He is with, yeah. with Jordan Brand. <laughs> yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Um, being a potential free agent, I got a player option. So being a potential free agent um, this upcoming summer, um, just, you know, playing to the level that I'm playing at, uh, surprising a lot of people and things like that. I definitely think about trying to figure out, you know, what I'm going to do next season, um, whether it's, you know, come back or, or, or not. Um, it's tough, though, you know. It's tough with, with all this going on. It's it's hard to even gauge, you know, um, what's going on. The salary cap might drop, you know. Mm-hmm. It, it, it might drop a lot. It might drop a little bit. So I think uh, everything just kind of hangs in the balance of, like, uh, you know, what, what the owners are going to do, what the NBA is doing with, with the rest of the season. With another steal. Over the top, Rush. In a two-on-one shot. 